In this support video, we're going to go over how to set up your ad customizers for your dynamic search campaigns. Ad customizers are what you're going to use to be able to get dynamic content within ads, similar to this one. Used Honda Accord 18 in stock as low as 6999 where the count in stock and the minimum price are getting dynamically updated on a daily basis with a feed that we provide. So let's take a look at how to do this, starting with how to enable ad customizers for one of your dealer accounts. If you're setting up a brand new dealer account, you'll be filling out the ad dealer form. And when you are selecting to have dynamic search enabled, you also have the option to enable ad customizers. And that's essentially all you have to do to have ad customizers included in a new dealer account. But then if you already have a dealer account set up for search and you want to add ad customizers to it, simply go into dealer settings like this. And again, you'll see the same option to turn ad customizers on or off. Okay, so that's how you're going to request that they be enabled within a dealer account. Once they are enabled, and I do have them already enabled for this Crown Nissan demo account, you can view the data for your ad customizers uh, from two different places. The first place from your AdWords status reports that I just clicked into, you can go over to activated ad groups, and along with a list of all of the ad groups that are enabled, you will see two columns for vehicle count and lowest price with your ad customizer information. And of course, we always have the link there so you can quickly click and check to confirm that it is showing the right count and minimum price for each of your ad groups. You can also view the ad customizer data from the inventory feeds tab from where you would access your AdWords ad customizer feed. So I'll just go in and view the feed data for this one. And you'll see essentially the same thing that we saw in the AdWords status reports. Okay, so that's how you can enable and review your ad customizer data. To set these up in AdWords, it's actually quite simple. You're gonna to want to go into your AdWords account and go down to, in the new interface, business data. And you're just gonna add a new feed. Now I do ha already have one ad customizer uh, feed in here called vehicles. So I'm gonna set up a second one rather than replacing that one, but you're gonna get the option to create a new feed. You want it of course in the ad customizer data format and you're going to give it a name. Now I do recommend that you do use the name vehicles for one reason and one reason only. In our help documentation, you'll see in our examples that we are using some uh, parameters here to insert in your ads where we do have the business feed named vehicles. So if one of the campaign managers from your organization is looking at this help doc and might be copying and pasting directly from this into your ads or into the campaign builder, it's going to be assuming that your feed was named vehicles. So for that reason, it might be uh, better and easier for everybody on your side if you'd go, go ahead and name it vehicles. But since I already have one called vehicles, I'm just going to call this one vehicles two. And then you're going to choose a starting file and you can get a starting file again from the support documentation. Notice I'm in the inventory monitor, then within dynamic search, and the last thing there in dynamic search is add customizers. And you can see right down here in section 1C, we do have a link to download the add customizers initial feed. And so if I do that, and I'll go ahead and do it and open it up to let you take a look, that this is really nothing more than the headers that's going to define the variable names for minimum price and count. That's all it is. So I'm going to go ahead and shut that back down. But when we go in here to choose our file, I've already got this saved. Here's my ad customizer initial feed that I saved from where when I downloaded it from the help documentation. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that, which again is doing nothing more than uploading the headers for that, so now it has defined the minimum price and count field names. Once this is done, you can move over to schedules. 
create a new schedule. Select your source. We want that to be HTTPS. And then come back to the dealer details here. And you've got your AdWords Ad Customizer feed link right here. So simply copy the feed link over here and paste that into the source URL. You will need to select a frequency. We do recommend doing it more than every 24 hours. We're only updating the, the feed uh, once per day. However, AdWords does not say when during the 24 hour period that they are going to refetch the data. So I'd recommend doing every six or 12 hours just to make sure they don't accidentally pull that feed right before it gets updated for the next day. But essentially that's it. You, you have inserted the feed link selected your frequency. I went ahead and saved that. And you could just wait until the next automatic update or you can click the update now to make that happen right away. But as far as integrating the account and minimum price data from your inventory to your AdWords account, your work is complete here. And now you can move on to the next stage of actually setting up some ads that use this ad customizer data. I'm gonna go back in here to the data tab and if we do a refresh, we might be able to see the data in there already. Okay, here we go. And we do have the data. And it should match up with exactly what we saw in the AdWords status reports right over here. Okay, so you're essentially done. Now to um, create ads using this, the, the ad customizer data, you are gonna follow the format that I was just recently showing you down here in the help documentations under step two, create your ads. Um, we're gonna be able to support two variables here, the count and the minimum price. And the format of these goes essentially squiggly bracket equals, and then you put the name that you gave the business data feed, which is why I recommended you call yours vehicles so it would match the support doc, dot, and then the name of the variable. And again, we have two variable names in here, which you can see in the column headers, min underscore price and count. So essentially, back to the help docs, these are the two things you'll stick in the ad, very similar to your dynamic keyword insertion to have that dynamically stuck in. And here's kind of a example of a full ad that has those included. Now you can come up here in your Ad, AdWords campaign. I'm gonna go back to the main campaign section. And click into my dynamic used make model campaign. And then um, I'll go into this Dodge Journey, go over to the ads. Okay, I already have one in here. Um, that uses it, but let me show you by creating another one. So let me copy and edit this one. And I'm gonna change this around a little bit, you know, Dodge Journey. And then right here, if you simply just start with a squiggly bracket, it's gonna give you a little drop down in here where you can then select the type of information you're trying to insert in here. So we want the ad customizer. And then it's gonna give you a list of, okay, which Ad customizer feed, I've got two, so I've got two available. We'll select that vehicles too. And then it asks you which variable, and I want the count. And then I'd simply put in stock now. And that's really uh, essentially all you have to do if you're creating these manually. Um, let me move this out of the way, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna save the new ad. You can only halfway preview it in the new interface. So if we kind of take a look at this one we just set up and I click edit. It will give you a preview if you click that, but it doesn't actually show you the value from your business data feed in that preview. So not quite as helpful as what we had in the um, older interface, but you do get part of the preview there. Now, of course, you're not gonna be wanting to build out the ads manually within your AdWords interface. Instead, you're more likely gonna to wanna to use the campaign builder. So let's take a look at the same thing within a campaign builder template. And I've already got one set up for Bob Thomas Ford here in their dynamic new campaign template. So I'll just go in and edit that. 
and we can take a look down in the ad section. I've got one ad that doesn't use any ad customizers and one ad that does. So you can see right down here, I did essentially the same thing I did manually within the AdWords interface. We've got year model in stock for headline one, and then headline two is going to have that vehicles.count, which is the business data feed name and variable name in stock today. And that's how you're gonna insert those into your campaign builder so you can then have it rapidly built out for all those make model or your make model or make model trim combinations that you have set up there. Now I do wanna give a couple warnings when using the ad customizers, some problems and uh, issues that you, your new users are likely to run into that I'd like you to avoid if possible. Uh, the first one I already sort of alluded to here, um, Notice I've got two ads here, one that has ad customizers and one that does not have ad customizers. AdWords has a policy that if you do use ad customizers in an ad for an ad group, you must also have one ad that does not use ad customizers. If you do not obey that requirement, your ads will not run. So if I had ad customizers in both of these ads, they would not run because Google insists that you must have at least one that does not have ad customizers in case the data for that particular uh, vehicle or ad group is not available. Now there is one way you can get past this and that is by using a default value. It might be easier for me to show that, this to you in the AdWords interface. Okay, so notice it's showing us down here that there is another option. We can have the data name dot attribute name. So that means the feed name dot the field name and then colon default text. If you use some default text, then you no longer are required to have a non ad customizer ad in the same ad group. So I could do something like um, many. So now if we didn't have any data for count in the feed, then it would say many in stock now. Okay, go ahead and save that new version. So that's one thing you need to watch out for. It will give you a little alert up here if you have that issue that uh, all the ads in an, in an ad group are using ad customizers, um, but often that gets overlooked and everybody scratches their head wondering why their ad customizer search ads are not running. Okay, the second issue that I want to point out is the order that you must set these up in. When you're using the campaign builder, typically you're probably using the campaign builder to build out all your campaign structure. You upload that to AdWords editor and from there you upload it to AdWords. But if you do that before you have set up <coughs> your business data feed, so let me go back to that section right here, before this is set up, What's gonna happen is it's going to see that you have an ad that is looking for a business data feed named vehicles and it's not gonna be there. And so the, every single ad that uses the ad customizers will get rejected when you try to post from AdWords editor because you have not yet set up that feed within your data feeds and business data and therefore it can't find it and it rejects the ads. And it's a, a little difficult to fix because even after you do add the business feed data in here, it, AdWords editor is still going to think it's not there and not until you make some changes to every single one of the ads or delete them and start all over will you be able to get those to upload. So always remember, as far as the order goes, create your business data feed first you don't have to have the actual you know, feed link available yet. You don't have to have set up the schedules yet, but you at least have to get as far as giving it that name and uploading that initial feed that we got from the help documentation. That's enough to get you past that process. Then you can go and download your bulk sheet for AdWords editor and post your ads up to AdWords. And that is essentially everything that is necessary to set up your ad customizer feeds within your dynamic search campaigns.